my name is Tilly Wicks and welcome to today's video. Today is day day six of Vlogmas and today is Wednesday and this morning we are off to a friend's house to have a little play date and then we're off to my friend Hannah's house to help out making cupcakes for her daughter Isabel's birthday which is tomorrow. Isabel also has a birthday party on Saturday that we're going to be going to so the girls are super excited. We've been looking for presents for her for a while but I haven't gotten anything yet so I need to go out and find something for her birthday as well. The girls are up and at it. Hi Rose, what are you doing? She's too busy walking and Anna's having some milk. Isn't that right? Yeah, milk. She's learned how to say bye. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye. Bye, Rosie. Bye. Bye. Yay, we got it. <laughs> Anyways, we're about to go and head outside because it's nice and cool and the girls want to go play out on their bike. So we're going to go do that. So we'll see you guys soon. fell asleep sitting up watching the TV. So I thought I'd take this time to answer some more of your questions. Um, let me have a look. Go find them. Right. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up, Anna. Um, uh, let's have a look, sorry. <laughs> Having a look for your questions. Okay, so Olivia had another question. And the question was, um, what was your dream job? Now, growing up, I always wanted to be a flight attendant. Ever since I can remember, I wanted to be a flight attendant. I grew up having to travel from Perth to Queensland um, once a year to visit my mum for Christmas. And every year we would fly as unaccompanied minors, me and my brother. And every year the flight attendants would um, make our trip so wonderful. And some years we even had to travel on Christmas Eve or on Christmas Day and they would give us presents and they just treat us so nicely. So ever since then I just wanted to be a flight attendant. Oh shoot. Right? She's awake. She's awake. Alright. I always wanted to be a flight attendant so I could give other kids the same experience that I had. Um, so I've always wanted to be a flight attendant. And I even made a video before I got pregnant with the twins about what I should do with my life. Should I keep trying to have a baby or should I follow my dream and become a flight attendant? Um, so if you haven't checked that video out, definitely check that one out. Um, but yeah, I've always wanted to be a flight attendant. Um, okay, the next question is from Matthew. And Matthew asks, are your girls talking yet? The girls can say a few words and they're starting to mimic the sounds of words that I say to them. But some words that they can say are mum, dad, they can say baba, they can say bulla, which is what we say when we sneeze. Um, they can also say back, which is their favourite word when they give stuff back to you. Anna has just learnt how to say bye, you know, bye, and she's learnt how to say hi, um, which kind of sounds similar, but <laughs> that's alright. Um, Rose can also say nani, which is what we call Anna. What else can they say? They can say nan, um, which is different to nani. They can also say milk. Um, and Rose can say banana, 
Um, it kind of sounds like banana. Yeah, no, banani. It kind of sounds like nani, but it, it, I know that she's saying banana, so it's a little different. Um, Anna can also say cat. I don't know why we don't have a cat. We don't like cats. We have two dogs, but they don't know how to say dog. <laughs> and there's a few words that I haven't like picked up on that other people seem to be picking up on in my videos. So if you do see any of them saying different words in my videos that I haven't picked up myself, let me know. Um, the next question is from Sarah. And Sarah asks, what is your family budget like now that you're a stay-at-home mum? Do you make any money from YouTube? Okay, so the question, the, I'm going to do the first question first, which was, what is your family budget like now that you're a stay-at-home mum? Our budget is pretty tight. We try and get um, everything that we need within our budget. Our grocery shopping, we like to keep within like $120, and that's like for everything. Like, we will do our grocery shopping, which might come to like $100, and then during the week we might have to go up and get more milk or more bread, and that's the extra $20 that um, we would end up spending. Other things for like electricity, when James is home he loves having the aircon on all day but I just can't stand it because when the electricity bill comes he's the first one complaining about how much it is. So whenever I'm at home I'll leave it on for like an hour or so and then I'll be off for the rest of the day. Um, what else would be in our budget? So the money that we get for, from Centrelink for the girls goes to me and I use that for uh, if they need nappies or if they need formula or if they need new clothes or if we want to go out and do something during the week like go to the pool or go to the movies that's what that money goes towards too and any money that we have left over from that has been going towards my trip to Japan and then when I come back from Japan I think we're saving up for a new bed so that'll go towards that as well so that's pretty much our family budget for the week and the second question is, do you make any money from YouTube? I do make some money from YouTube, but it's not a lot. I've been making maybe $100 a month, which um, gets me and the girls something special. Like if we want like something special, like a new DVD or um, the TP or anything like that. That's what that money goes towards too. Um, but um, as more people start to watch my videos, I will get paid more money from YouTube. Um, and it'd be great to make like a lot more a month once um, I get more subscribers and stuff like that. Um, if you see like YouTube people that have like a million subscribers, I'm sure they get paid an actual wage because um, if I'm getting a hundred dollars a month, then I'm assuming they'd be getting thousands a month. <laughs> I'm assuming, I don't know, but you would think so. So we're now we're in the car and we're ready to head off to our little play date. We've got the girls, they're awake and they've got their shoes on. Hi Anna, hi Rosie. So we're going to head off now and we'll see you guys later. Hello Anna. Hi Rosie, you're playing on this thing. You want me to push you around? You ready? Brum brum. Brum brum. Brum brum. Very cool. Do you want to take that out to the girls to show them? Big run! 
Make sure you don't spill your water. Do it. She's a big girl. Got your sticker. What's in there? What did Annie Hannah get you and Isabel? <laughs> Open it. Don't just chuck it. This one's yours. How's she going, Anna? Put the sticker back on. <laughs> Keep opening, Nani. I'm going to say thank you, Ani, Hannah. Thank you, Isabel. How are you going? You want some help? Daddy help you. What's in there? Oh, it's a shirt. Cool. It's a scarf, Mum. What does it say? It says, believe in your heart. Oh, sorry. Here, have it back. And a skirt. Oh, so pretty. You'll have to wear these to Isabel's birthday party, yeah? Very cool. How are you going, nuns? Already. She's gonna sidetrack them. Yeah. <laughs> She's been sidetracked by the small shit. What is it, Anna? pink skirt and a Mickey Mouse shirt. Oh, Minnie Mouse. That's so cute. <laughs> You're going to wear that to Isabel's birthday? 
He's like, what is this? <laughs> Good girl. And you're playing with all the rubbish. Very cool. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Isabel. The girls love them. We'll wear them to Isabel's birthday party.